We've all heard it. Don't go outside without sunscreen. It's been drilled into us for decades. Doctors, dermatologists, and beauty brands all say sunscreen is a must-have for protecting your skin and preventing cancer. But what if there's more to the story? What if some sunscreens are actually doing more harm than good? What if the real reason many people burn isn't just from the sun, but from what they're putting on their skin and into their bodies? In today's video, we're diving deep into the sunscreen myth. We'll explore the hidden chemicals in conventional sunscreens, how diet and toxins affect your skin's reaction to sunlight, and what kind of sunscreen you should actually use, if you really need it. Let's get into it. Let's start with what's actually in your sunscreen. Most conventional sunscreens use chemical filters to block UV rays. The most common are oxybenzone, octanoxate, avobenzone, and homosalate. While these chemicals do absorb UV radiation, they come with a cost. A 2020 study published in JAMA found that after just one application, chemicals from sunscreen, including oxybenzone and avobenzone, were absorbed into the bloodstream at levels far exceeding safety thresholds set by the FDA. And that's from a single use. These chemicals are known endocrine disruptors, meaning they can mess with your hormones. According to a review in Environment International, oxybenzone has been linked to reduced testosterone levels, altered thyroid function, and even potential reproductive harm. And it gets worse. Some sunscreen ingredients like oxybenzone and octanoxate are photoreactive, meaning they can become unstable when exposed to sunlight. A study in photochemistry and photobiology showed that when oxybenzone is exposed to UV light, it can produce free radicals that damage cells and accelerate skin aging, exactly the opposite of what sunscreen is supposed to do. So you're applying sunscreen to prevent aging and cancer, but the chemicals in it might actually increase your risk. But here's where things get even more interesting. Burning in the sun isn't always about how strong the UV rays are. It's also about how your body is processing that light. And your diet plays a major role in that process. Let's talk about sugar. High sugar intake increases inflammation in the body. A 2018 study in Nutrients found that a high sugar diet increases oxidative stress, which weakens your skin's defenses and makes you more prone to sunburn. Sugar literally depletes antioxidants like vitamin E and glutathione, two nutrients critical for protecting your skin from UV damage. Then there's seed oils, like canola, soybean, and corn oil. These oils are high in omega-6 fatty acids, which promote inflammation when consumed in excess. According to research published in Lipids in Health and Disease, excess omega-6 intake can sensitize the skin to sun exposure by increasing inflammatory prostaglandins. That means you're more likely to burn, peel, and suffer long-term skin damage. And we haven't even gotten to makeup. Many makeup products, especially foundations and powders, contain titanium dioxide and zinc oxide, which can offer some physical sun protection. But when these minerals are nano-sized, they can penetrate the skin and generate reactive oxygen species, especially when exposed to sunlight. A 2017 review in Nanotoxicology reported that nano-sized titanium dioxide can cause oxidative damage at the cellular level under UV exposure. So you're layering sunscreen, foundation, and maybe even a scented lotion, all filled with chemicals that react to sunlight. And wondering why your skin burns more easily now than it did 20 years ago? It's not just the sun, it's the toxic load. Let's also talk about vitamin D. When you block the sun's rays with sunscreen, you also block your body's ability to produce vitamin D, a hormone that supports immune function, bone health, and yes, even protects against certain types of cancer. A 2021 study in Nutrients found that people who use sunscreen regularly were significantly more likely to be deficient in vitamin D, especially in northern climates. Low vitamin D has been linked to increased risk of skin cancer, ironically. That's because vitamin D helps regulate cell growth and repair DNA damage caused by sun exposure. So by constantly blocking the sun, you're preventing your body from producing the very nutrient it needs to protect itself from the sun. Now to be clear, we're not saying you should go out and bake in the midday sun for hours. Sunburns are real, and they can damage your skin. 
But the idea that all sun exposure is dangerous is simply not true. Your body was designed to thrive in the sun with the right internal environment. So, how much sun is too much? That depends on your skin tone, location, and time of year. But for most people, 15 to 30 minutes of direct sunlight daily, especially on the arms, face, and legs, is enough to produce optimal vitamin D levels. And here's the key, without sunscreen. A study in the British Journal of Dermatology found that exposing the skin to the sun for short periods, just before it starts to turn pink, can significantly boost vitamin D levels without increasing skin cancer risk. The danger lies in prolonged, unprotected exposure that leads to burning. And that brings us to a better question. What kind of sunscreen should you use if you actually need it? The best option is a mineral sunscreen made with non-nano zinc oxide. Unlike chemical sunscreens, zinc oxide sits on top of the skin and reflects UV rays. It's not absorbed, it doesn't disrupt hormones, and it doesn't generate free radicals when exposed to sunlight. According to the Environmental Working Group, EWG, non-nano zinc oxide is the safest and most effective UV blocker currently available. It protects against both UVA aging and UVB burning rays without the chemical side effects. Look for simple formulas. No added fragrance, no dyes, no parabens, and no oxybenzone. Brands like Badger, ThinkSport, and Raw Elements are good examples of clean, safe sunscreens. Another tip, cover up naturally. Wide-brimmed hats, lightweight long sleeves, and sunglasses go a long way in minimizing UV exposure without chemicals. Now, let's talk about another factor in sun sensitivity, antioxidants. Your body has built-in defenses against sun damage, and they start on your plate. Antioxidants like astaxanthin, vitamin C, vitamin E, quercetin, and resveratrol help neutralize free radicals generated by sun exposure. A study published in Carotenoids and Retinoids in Dermatology found that astaxanthin, a pigment found in algae and salmon, can act as an internal sunscreen, reducing sunburn severity and improving skin elasticity after eight weeks of supplementation. Similarly, vitamin C and E, when taken together, have been shown in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition to reduce DNA damage caused by UV light. This means that your diet can act like sunscreen, if you're eating the right things. Think colorful fruits and vegetables, fatty fish, and herbs like turmeric and rosemary. And if you're still burning easily, it might be time to detox your skincare and your diet. Cut the sugar, cut the seed oils, and replace chemical-laden products with natural alternatives. Your skin is a reflection of your internal environment. Clean up the inside, and you'll be amazed how much more resilient your skin becomes in the sun. Even hydration plays a role. Dehydrated skin burns faster. Drink half your body weight in ounces of water each day, and even more if you're sweating in the sun. Let's not forget about sunburn recovery too. If you do get burned, skip the drugstore gels full of chemicals. Use aloe vera gel, cold-pressed coconut oil, or manuka honey to soothe and repair your skin naturally. These all contain anti-inflammatory compounds that speed healing and reduce pain without exposing your skin to more toxins. And here's a perspective shift. Sunburns aren't just about too much sun. They're often a sign your body is out of balance. Too many inflammatory foods, not enough antioxidants, too many chemicals on the skin, and not enough support from within. Fix those things, and your relationship with the sun changes. So the next time you reach for that sunscreen bottle, flip it over. Read the ingredients. Ask yourself if you really want those chemicals soaking into your skin and bloodstream. And instead of fearing the sun, start working with it. Support your body with whole foods, clean products, and smart exposure. Your skin wasn't meant to hide from the sun. It was meant to thrive under it. If you found this video helpful, give it a like. Share it with someone who still slathers on drugstore sunscreen every summer. And don't forget to subscribe to Addicted to Health for more insights on how to live cleaner, simpler, and stronger. Protect your skin the natural way and let the sun shine in.